Hey everybody, this is Grace. I'm on my way to get something for dinner today. Some chicken. And I thought I'd do a little video on stuff that I have mentioned in the past. And I'm seeing so much of it. And just something I thought, you know, this might be a, a healthy solution, maybe, for, you know, for the future, for people in the future, you know, kids being born today, what they might walk into, wouldn't it be great if this is how their, let's say their education started, began, well, well, at least at some point, okay, okay, let me turn the, uh, Air conditioner a little higher. It's let's see, 96 degrees. Oh my goodness! It's September 7th, 2022, here in North Central Texas. 96 degrees Fahrenheit. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, we had our heat wave, which was 100 plus temperatures, and it went on and on and on and on. Had a little break from it, but well, what happened to that break? Broke a record high for rain at the end of. <laughs> For all of August, but it, it was at the end of it. Anyway, what my thought was, this is my thought, my thoughts. Um, you know, I did the, these videos about illusory pattern perception, people having, and the whole pseudo-profound BS that some people believe in, that they just, they just can't connect the dots. I did videos about mantra mentality, people who just pick up any kind of slogan or anything like that, and they practically make it a mantra. And that they just copy, they're copycats, they just, whatever anybody else says and it, to them, it sounds like that's probably a good thought, so they take it and steal it and use it as their own, and they really don't have any concept of what, any idea of the concept of, at all, what it means, they just don't get it. It just sounded good. It might totally mix, you know, not a mix for what they usually put out judge somebody by their accent and use that to fit a uh, narrative, fit a, uh, a thread of theirs and that person isn't what they think. Like me, I'm independent. I am an independent. Yeah. <laughs> so, having said that, this is, is, Adam reminded me of what this sounded like when I told him some of it. Let's see. Okay, which I had to remind him I'm an independent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what I'm thinking is this, uh, you know, it seems to worsen and worsen as years go by. The people who are, the voices, the, the loudest voices, I used to say this years and years ago, the loudest voices are the ones that should at least be listened to, at least be heard, you know, something along that line. I'm talking years ago. Because some of them, they, they come up with such BS, you know, and then the other ones, they listen to the pseudo-profound BS. Try not to say the word, even though it was in a research that way. One on one. Uh, but it just worsens, okay? People can't, and especially more and more of what I've seen also, not especially, but also, is that of people, um, too many, not everybody, no, this is everybody, um, having that, uh, the, the difficulty with language comprehension, in whatever language it is, you know, uh, the ones that I see, it could be any other ones anywhere else, I know other people who speak other languages and they've seen the same in that language, but in English, okay, not being able to comprehend things, instead, thinking that they know what the person, the other person is already, they already know what the other person is going to say, and so they answer that. Is this kind of like they, they, they go by a recording or a script, because maybe they can't really understand what anybody else is saying, but in that situation, they know that mo many people ask that question, or <laughs> they just assume what they all them do. You see what I'm saying? I wish you would go, people. Price of the gas, 309. It just went down 20 cents more. Wow. I wonder if anybody ever did actually compare the uh, price increase that the highest we had 
this time in compare in with the rates now as it was back in um, the second Bush, Bubba Bush era, and the, with the cost. What is the term? Boy, my goodness, I had a study of this years ago, and I just don't use it, so I forgot it. <laughs> you know, the price comparison. And you have to take into account how much uh, people earn then and all that, and you know, compare the two, not just the prices, the, you know, the cost. It's cost of living. Eh, I could use that one. Cost of living was different then as it is now. And then just compare. Did it really beat it? You know what I'm saying? Okay, where was I? Basically, okay, so it's people that they're not using critical thinking skills. Let me get to this, jump to this. Critical thinking skills, they're not using logic. Uh, too many, not everybody, like I said, the people that I'm talking about. And they, uh, you know, they, they can't connect the dots. They come off with crazy conspiracies or th things that just couldn't possibly happen. Some of it, some, some people would call, and they do, some people do call this. I would, I can see it. <laughs> it's... Um, a psychotic break from reality. Yeah, I've seen somebody using that to uh, scam people recently. Seriously. Anyway, um, yeah, they're just they're just not think. Some of them just don't think for themselves. They don't take the time to think. They let other people think for them, and then they just repeat it. You know, just keep repeating what they've heard other people tell say, and they don't. Like I said, don't think for themselves. And uh, now, how can as a you know, as a, as humans, people work to because this can be very unhealthy. It can be the things that I've mentioned in this video can be very unhealthy for them and or others. Seriously. Okay, and finally, I'm getting to my thought. <laughs> that I don't think that I think one alternative viewpoint on it. One alternative kind of thing. Might be that school doesn't end in 12th grade. Okay? That's not it. You know, once you graduate from high school, that's not it. It's not over. That it be mandatory. Ooh, there's that word. I know a lot of people, it's like, remember, I'm an independent. But here's just an alternative. Um, it'd be mandatory for people to go to college. Or, you, you know, attend college, university, for whatever it is their choice of trade or whatever, it doesn't matter. But a big concentration, especially like in the last year of high school, uh, but all along, is to have a good big concentration on things like teaching people uh, how to do critical thinking. I don't, I don't want to say anything. But, um, yeah, it seems like they kind of went, some of the stuff I do know went away. I do know, at least here, I do know. You know, the skills that people need to pick up critical thinking skills to take some philosophy courses, like especially in logic, you know, any kind of reasoning, uh, co English comprehension, if, if it's here, it's English, you know, or whatever, but in whatever language, comprehension came, it's not always just English, uh, Spanish classes too, and so on and so forth, but to have that uh, uh, big focus and it also focus, you know, on since the, the thing these days is the internet is how not to get scammed. You know, class, well, that would be in a probably criminal justice. I taught criminal justice classes at university. Not the classes, but to the criminal justice students. Certain kind of classes that they would need. Um, anyway. Um, but, you know, to, to teach them this, this would be kind of like a scam or, you know, a hoax or a real hoax, not just a make-believe hoax <laughs> for political purposes. No, what could be a real hoax? And uh, just basically not how, how not to be taken advantage of on the internet. I mean, really, don't you think some people need classes like that? How not to be taken advantage of on the internet by scammers, uh, e-beggars. They're all scammers, really, right, when you think about it? But especially critical thinking skills, how to connect the dots, how not to get scammed, how not to, you know, how to think logically, how to, all these kinds of things, okay? Yeah, I'll expand on another day, talk to you on another day.